Hello and welcome to the What's New video for Results 2019. With this new release, we've enhanced the usability, stability, and performance, along with adding multiple major and minor features to the product. In this video, we will only be going through some of the major new features, including streamlines, PVT, IPR, and well testing plots, improvements to the 3D viewer, quick plots, export to PowerPoint, and general preferences. Streamlines. The new Streamline feature is made available for simulations run using the FluxCon keyword in the 2019-10 simulators. To activate Streamlines, once in a 3D or 2D model view, select Streamlines in the Analysis pane. From the pane, we can select which phase, color setting, and wells you would like to see streamlines for. In our case, I have selected the oil phase to be colored by drainage for all producers. To further enhance the visualization of streamlines in the model, we can change the thickness of streamline cubes, along with modifying model transparency to make grid lines less intrusive. New Plots Results 2019 also features a variety of new plot types, such as PVT plots, IPR plots, and well testing plots, which can be found in the tree view. IPR plots are available for display if a simulation is run with the OutSRF well IPR keyword. Well testing plots are made available for display if the user specifies the WSRF well-test keyword. Additional details on the keywords required to display this data can be found in the appropriate simulator manuals. PVT and IPR plots are automatically created if the required data is available and are visible in the tree view. Well testing plots can be created with a single click by choosing what type of well testing plot you would like to see through the well testing node in the tree. We have various build-up and draw-down plots to choose from. Improvements to the 3D viewer. The 2D and 3D model views now feature a fully customizable color scale, which can be accessed by either right-clicking on the color scale or through the ribbon. Basic customization options appear on the left of the dialog, which allow you to switch between a discrete or continuous color bar, along with additional color presets, ranges, and interval options. In this example, to help visualize the pressure distribution in the model, we will change the size of the green color band. To do this, we can add additional control points by clicking on the color bar. These control points allow us to modify colors on the color bar itself. We can then drag these points to the different locations for the desired effect. In this example, to better visualize highly water-saturated areas in the model, we will switch the color scale to discrete intervals and decrease the number of intervals to 4. From here, we can modify individual intervals by either dragging the label or double-clicking on the label to edit the value. We can also delete labels we no longer want to see. In this example, we want to visualize all blocks with a water saturation greater than 0.6 to be blue. We can also split intervals to get more resolution for cells with a saturation of less than 0.6 by right-clicking on the color bar and selecting Split Interval. Widgets. All items on the 3D or 2D views are now widgets. Widgets can be moved and are resized by grabbing the corners of the widget. The text in the widget will automatically adjust to the new widget size. Widgets can also be moved through a click and drag operation. Compass. The new compass in results is now interactive. 
Selecting an arrow on the compass will rotate the model. For example, clicking on the blue arrow will rotate the model such that it will be viewed from the top. Clicking the blue arrow again will rotate the model around its z-axis. Quick Plots and Block Selections When working in a 3D or 2D model view, you can right-click on a reservoir grid block and select Quick Plot Block Property from the context menu. This will create a new dashboard with a block property versus time plot for the selected block and the selected property. As this is a dashboard, you can now click other blocks to update the associated plot. Similar quick plot functionality can also be performed when right-clicking on a well and selecting Quick Plot Well. The submenu will allow you to choose what type of plots you would like to see for that well, which will then create a new dashboard with the selected plots. Clicking a well in the 3D model will change the plots to the selected well. Holding down the control key while selecting other wells will display curves of all selected wells on the plots. Once a dashboard has been created, we can also add additional visualizations to the dashboard, such as the new time visualization. Using the sliders or the calendar dropdowns, we can adjust the time period visible on the dashboard, and subsequently all views on the dashboard. For this specific well, we would like to get more resolution from 2010 onwards. Export to PowerPoint To expand on the export options and results, we can now export plots directly into PowerPoint as images. This is done through the Export to PowerPoint option in the Export Ribbon tab. Plot selections are made in the tree on the left, where plots are organized similar to the Tree View in Plots node. Along with this, there are several image resizing options to match your presentation. General Preferences Results now has general curve preferences, which can be found in the Curve Properties node in the Tree View. From this node, we can modify the curve properties for all time series and profile plots. In our scenario, we have a dashboard that contains curves from several CMOS runs, and instead of coloring the curves by parameter, we would like to distinguish curves by data source or per CMOS run. To do this, we can move to the Curve Properties node in the tree and modify the Data Source Radio button currently set to Line Style to be Line Color. Using the Override button, we can also specify colors for each data source. In this case, we can set the CMOS base case to be black. Moving back to the dashboard, we will see each run now has its own unique color, with our base case displayed in black. This concludes our video highlighting the major features of Results 2019. Thank you for watching.